Hi, I'm Sam Speckraiser and this is my final year of electrical and electronic engineering. This was uh, essentially a remote control car with a bunch of gizmos that we were given at the start of the year and essentially the goal was to make it autonomously move around a room and generate a map of that room. Well, you can use this to um, map out dangerous areas um, after crisis situations where you don't actually want to put a human in the situation or it can just be used to make sure that a robot moving around a lab doesn't collide with someone holding a bunch of test tubes. So I'm Ben Merton and I'm studying uh, mechanical engineering and I'm in my fourth year. This is a car for the Shell Eco Marathon which is a global competition for students to design and build uh, their own um, vehicle and then race against each other to see who is the most efficient and uses the least fuel. So last year they built this vehicle and it's completely ABS recyclable plastic and then uh, with this year we're designing and building a 3D printed titanium engine um, which will run on ethanol biofuel. We've been able to be 3D printed, it means that we can get more complex geometries in there and um, basically design from the inside out the only things that we require. So we make the engine lighter, more efficient and um, generally optimised for the scenario we need. Hi, my name's Sarah and I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Engineering majoring in software. So my final year project is pretty much, it's used for rehabilitation for stroke patients and for those who have suffered from a traumatic brain injury. So you wear the sensor apparatus here, you perform a prescribed movement given to you by a therapist, you perform the movement and then you upload it up here to a web application. It'll send it away and it'll send it back and it'll tell you how one side of your body has moved in terms of the other side and also show you how you've gone in previous sessions to see if you've done better than the last time. I am working with reverse osmosis to make maple syrup. From high school, you'll have heard about osmosis, where you can get pure water into a cell from a sugar solution. However, we're trying to reverse this. We're going to squeeze this cell, push the water out of the membrane, and leave the sugar behind. It's the energy required to boil off this water in the sap, which is the traditional method, is significantly more, think 100 times, than it is to run the setup, because all we need is the electricity for the pump. So far with my results, I have been able to concentrate sugar from the 2% that you get initially up to about the 20% solution which we have here. We cannot take it any higher because of limitations of the equipment. However, these limitations are significantly less than what we originally thought and therefore the overall project is a success for industry. My name is Zav Sander and I'm 4th year Mechanical Engineering. Down here we've got the dish drawer. Um, Fisher and Parker project, revolutionary with two dishwashers in the space of one. Um, pretty much they wanted to redesign the impeller of this pump, um, chop down the size and then get the same performance. This blue one here we got, it's like the original impeller they gave us, this one here is our redesigned one. A 20% height reduction which is, which is excellent and very comparable test data so it's, yes, yeah, yeah bang on the money pretty much. Yeah well next year there's two of us got jobs so next year we'll keep on working on that and yeah, making factory versions and making sure it works. So my name is Regan and I'm in my final year of software engineering. So I've developed a cross-platform mobile application for uh, international students to find activities in Christchurch. So the problem is uh, the international office had multiple different communication channels that they were using to distribute their information about activities. So they were using brochures and text messaging and WeChat groups. And so they wanted to consolidate that information into uh, a unified system basically and present it in a user-friendly way to international students. So we had to create a database that would manage the number of users that would be using it. Uh, also make it uh, user-friendly for the international office staff to be able to add activity information to the app. Yeah, it's available on the Android App Store and it's in the review process on the iOS App Store.